What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get Majora's Mask easily in Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get into this. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, because they really do help me to get found. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, and don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are linked down below. Okay, let's get in. All right, so a couple of things you're going to want for this. You're going to want some bright balloon seeds so you can see inside of the depths. You're going to want a multi-shot bow, right? Well, really any kind of bow, but multi-shot works better. And you're going to want a lot of um, ancient blades. Now, in the previous video to this one, I showed you how to get an ancient blade and then how to duplicate it so you can get more. Uh, once you've done that, come to the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower or any quick access you've got to the Great Plateau because that's where we've got to go. Um, there's a depth access point there that's basically going to put us right where we need to be. So we're going to go towards the plateau. Luckily from this tower, it doesn't take very long. And when we're down there, I'm also going to show you where the light routes are as well. So you can go ahead and get the light routes so you can actually see what you're doing so you don't have to rely on blight brooms. The other reason I say you need bright blooms is because of being able to see in the first place. Unless, of course, you've got like glow effects or something. But for me, bright blooms work better anyway because they just work. So we're going to go to this point on the plateau. Unfortunately, the uh, access to the depths is very quick. It's not hard access at all. So once we, of course, get to the Great Plateau, we want to enter the chasm. Now, I've already activated the um, the uh, the trees down here to give me light so I can actually see what's going on. But basically, we're going to fall all the way down. We bop. And you'll land right in front of one of these contraptions. And the, the actual thing is right here. Just turn this corner. And here's the first one. So the first one will illuminate this area, but it will not illuminate the area with the um the coliseum we're going to to get majora's mask instead if you look on the map there's the coliseum and there is the musatus light route now in order to get there you can go one of two ways i highly also recommend having uh, a lot of stamina or food that restores stamina so that you can easily get to where you need to go so if we keep going this way we'll end up getting cutting around to it because the coliseum is it's just past the coliseum essentially now, the Colosseum, like I said, is where we're going to go ahead and get Majora's Mask. And you're going to want to be able to see in there. Because to get Majora's Mask, you have to fight, I think, five Lynels. Now, thanks to my previous video giving us um, Ancient Arrows, this is not going to be a problem. Because the Ancient Arrows will completely one-shot Lynels. So, um... Let's just keep running towards the shrine. You could build a contraption that would carry you here a lot faster. I'm just showing it for people who just can't be bothered. Or for people who aren't too keen on the building mechanics or the flying mechanics. Because there are some people that just aren't keen on them. I don't mind them. But for those who aren't keen, this is the way you want to go. So you'll see a bunch of enemies to the left. Just ignore them. Go past them if you want. You can take them out if you want as well. It's up to you. But once you've uh, gone this way, you'll see the light route coming up very shortly. And this will illuminate the light for the Colosseum. Meaning when you're in there, you can actually see what you're doing. You could just use Bright Bloom Seeds if you want, but getting the whole place illuminated is stupid useful. Because at least then you don't have to worry about any kind of illumination problem. So just go past this way, and the light route is right there. Well, up there, sorry. There's another light route there I've not yet activated. I was going to do that after the Colosseum. So we want to go up here. And then you want to just scale up this wall. Again, having a lot of stamina is very useful for this. Uh, or stamina restoring foods. Like, if you just naturally climb it, you don't need more than your two bars. I mean, you might not even use two bars, to be honest. No, you're not going to use two bars. Just don't do the jumps too much. But I'm only using jumps because I have more than enough stamina. And I have some stamina restoring foods. So I don't really mind. But you could just naturally climb it. It takes a little bit longer. We'll just come up here. 
and the light route is just ahead of us. Past another one of these uh, points where you can build a contraption, go away. I am not interested, leave me alone. So there's the light route right over here. And this will illuminate the Colosseum. So once you've activated both light routes, you can see where you're going. We're going to go to the Colosseum, which is just over here. As you can see, it's right there. Now, like I said, you are going to ideally want a bunch of ancient arrows for this because it makes it so easy to get Majora's Mask. And Majora's Mask is actually a really cool piece of equipment because it allows you to remain undetected from a lot of enemies. So a lot of enemies just won't be able to see you when you're wearing it. And if you mix that with other stealth armor, you'll pretty much become invisible, which is actually preferable. Now we're coming around this side because this side is where the entrance is. So once we get over here, you'll see this is the entrance to the Colosseum on this side. I'll open it up on the map so you can see. So it's right there. This is where the entrance is. So from that last light route, you want to go up here and just go around. Once you're here, you want to make sure that you uh, get prepared. You know, eat food if you need to or recover stamina if you need to. And you'll see in the center right there, there's a chest. And it's being enveloped by malice or whatever you want to call it. The gloom, sorry, the gloom. And you'll see that there are a bunch of doors. One, two, three, four, and five. That's because there are five Lynels. <laughs> Now again, if you have Ancient Arrows, this is not a problem. So let's just watch that. That's going to seal us in. First Lionel's going to come out. Hello, Lionel. How are you doing? You're about to get destroyed. And peace out. There's one. Peace out. There's two. Now, you will not get their weapon drops if you do it like this, because... Well, they're being completely disintegrated, weapons included. But if you just hear from Jorah's Mask, that's fine. If you want line of weapons, there are other ways to get them rather than doing it here. Oh, look, big armored one. It does not matter. Bye-bye. <laughs> Down go the Lynels. Give it the game a moment to catch up. There we go. The gloom dissipates. We open the chest. And there's Majora's Mask, an eerie mask passed down from an ancient from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's ra a rather rare find. And there we go. We have Majora's Mask. Heck yeah. If you want to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys have really been smashing it recently with the channel. We're getting so close to that thousand subs, so thank you. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams. I do upload daily and I live stream most days. And don't forget to turn on, um, don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are on linked down below. Links to stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord. Whenever I go live here on YouTube, I also go live on Twitch. So if you want to, if you like to watch live streams but don't like to watch them on YouTube, you can always check me out on Twitch. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.